Hello, and welcome to part two of my review and comparison of the Huber Concepts Square Brake and the American Precision Arms Little Bastard Gen 2. We are out on the range today to do our live fire comparison, and I am joined by my friend Sean, who is going to help me do the evaluation. We're going to start today by firing a three-shot string through the LB, followed by a three-shot string through the Square Brake. We will be evaluating the brakes based on total recoil energy and recoil pulse if there is a difference, and sound both from the shooter's perspective and from varying distances to either side, just so you know how friendly you're going to be to your neighbors. Let's step back from the range for a moment so that we can slow down some of the footage we shot. First, let's look at the brakes in the prone position. Not much can be seen by watching in real time, but when we slow things down and add a line for reference, we can start to see that there is a difference between the two brakes. Something else I would like to point out from this footage can be seen by looking at the grass in the background. You can clearly see that the blast wave propagates much farther with the LV than it does with the square brake. And here you can see where I was standing when Sean was shooting. Moving on to a closer top-down view, we can get a clearer picture of each brake functioning. First, let's compare live fire to what we saw with the talcum test. While the LB seems to function in much the same way under high pressure as it did under low pressure, the square brake seems to direct more rearward under high pressure than it did under low pressure. Again, adding a line for reference, we can more clearly see a difference in recoil between the two brakes. Last, we move to the sitting position. Now, I will be first to admit I do not have the best form, particularly in sitting, but in this case, I think it really highlights the effectiveness between the two brakes. Let's jump back to range day to hear what each of our impressions were. We just got done doing our live fire testing of the square brake and the LB. And after having a chance to send some rounds down range, what did you think about the two different brakes? Well, while overall the square brake had a little more recoil. I think it was a gentler push. I like gentle. <laughs> it's like a cuddle. That's, it's a cuddle push. I, mm. As funny as that it sounds, I, I think that's a legitimate observation, and I think part of that is because you don't get a blast to the face like you do with the LB. And even if you get slightly more muzzle rise, um, I feel that Overall, the, the recoil impulse is gentler. Nobody likes a blast to the face. <laughs> no, no one does. What did you feel about the neighbor friendliness of the two different brakes? Well, Matt, there's a reason why they call it a little bastard. I, I again, I, I think you have a point. When I was standing three feet to your side, I definitely felt a blast to both my chest and my face that I really didn't get with the Huber Concepts brake. Overall, which brake would you go with? I think I'm going to leave the square break on my rifle. I feel that if I was shooting a, uh, a really hot Magnum, I might be more inclined to go with the LB because it does help with the recoil more and I feel that with a really hot cartridge that is going to be even a larger difference between the LB and the square break. But with the soft recoiling 6.5 Creed more, I feel that the differences between the two really weren't enough to warrant getting blasted in the face every time I pulled the trigger. And now that I have a folding buttstock, I can actually fit the rifle in my case with a 26 inch barrel and another four inches of muzzle brake. Uh, how about you, when you build your next rifle, what brake are you putting on it? I'm definitely putting on the square brake for the reasons that he said. Deciding between these two brakes really comes down to what cartridge you are shooting and if you prefer the energy to be delivered to your shoulder or through the air back at you. The Huber brake, directing the blast wave out to the sides, is less effective at recoil reduction. But if you are shooting a non-magnum cartridge with proper position, you should still be able to spot your shots. 
The LB offers the biggest trade-off for recoil reduction, but not only does it reduce recoil, but it also reduces muzzle rise. Had I not had the chance to compare the Huber brake directly to it, I most likely would have been happy with the LB and would not have gone looking to replace it. If in the future John were to create a shorter version of the square brake, for example at 3 inches instead of 4, I would love a chance to test it. I think this would make it a little more user friendly for people who have barrels 24 inches or longer. However, I have been told there are currently no plans for making a shorter version. I would like to give a big thanks to John Huber who offered up this brake as a contest prize and who was genuinely excited for people to try his products. And to E. Bomi, who ran the contest and chose me as one of the winners. Links to Huber Concepts and E. Bomi's YouTube channel in the description. This is my first real review, so if you could leave a comment of what worked and what did not, I would appreciate it. Thanks and have a great day.